am Dr. N. Srikant, uh, Deputy Director General, working in Central Council for Research in Ayurvedic Sciences, which is an autonomous body under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India. And uh, regarding today's uh, issue, uh, it is the issue is mainly the integrative uh, medicine in healthcare. It's very an important issue in the current scenario. The Ministry of Ayush, actually, which is also focusing on at policy level various issues related to uh, integration and mainstreaming of the uh, ice systems of medicine uh, into the healthcare delivery. And there are several models of integration which are available in the world, out of which India has a very good policy of integration which is parallel types of integration where conventional systems of medicine and uh, Ayush and Ayurveda systems of medicine run parallelly and they are integrated uh, in a, a different way. But uh, the, the good examples at policy level, the integrative healthcare was emphasized since 2000. The National Health Policy 2000, National Population Policy 2002 and uh, National Health Policy even 2017, the current policy and the reports, several reports are there and in, uh, reports of the macroeconomics and health, these stated, they emphasized at policy level that uh, uh, the traditional system of medicine are to be uh, integrated with the conventional system to deliver the healthcare, better healthcare, where certain limitations of the conventional systems are available. But the first ever model, which is very successful at government level, is the introduction of the uh, integrative uh, health centers particularly in primary health level in under a, a national uh, rural health mission. And uh, the, there was a uh, functional integration, the physical integration was started in allopathic setups, uh, Ayurvedic hospital, Ayurveda yoga hospitals were set up, the, uh, cre creating a good model and uh, creating the integrative delivery. But according to the global scenario, the integration the integrative medicine should be a comprehensive one which we should take care of uh, all aspects of the body, mind and uh, of the uh, human being and it should be a tailor-made uh, um, wellness design uh, to a particular uh, patient generally. But the current definitions of integrative healthcare is com combination of the conventional mainstream system with the traditional systems like Ayurveda but where the evidence is required. In this direction, several research studies were taken. Particularly, two, three examples are, uh, can be taken as set as a model for delivering the integrative health care. Uh, a study which is conducted, supported by World Health Organization in a tertiary health care hospital has revealed that the patients of osteo osteoarthritis, when they were given an integrative treatment of Ayurveda combined with allopathy, the there is a, the reduction of the analgesic burden to the patients were greatly reduced and the improve, there was improvement of the quality of life. This is uh, well reported in uh, high impact journals. The another model is introduction of the reproductive child health care services in uh, uh, primary health care level through Ayurveda. The feasibility studies were conducted more than 50 uh, primary health centers in Himachal Pradesh where from the beginning of the conception till the delivery and postnatal care, the pregnants were given Ayurveda regimen along with the allopathy, where after the results revealed that there was a great reduction in the complications of the pregnancy and improvement of the health of the pregnant and, and, uh, and uh, prevention of anemia in pregnancy and uh, increasing the weight, weight, birth weight of the uh, children and uh, postnatal complications were greatly reduced. This, these are the some models where really integrative health care is really suitable in the health care system. Another thing is cancer quality of life. Cancer quality of life, if we add Ayurveda treatment to the cancer uh, uh, therapies, there were great reduction in the, improve, uh, in the complications of the anti-cancer therapy and improvement of the quality of life and which actually also improved the life expectancy of the cancer patient who received Ayush therapies.